Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch. No, Lee. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. What do you want from me? Whatever it is, I'll do it. You can let her go. I want you to never hurt anybody again. This isn't a kidnapping, Lee. Then what is it? A rescue. Better not fucking hurt her. I swear. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. How's that feeling? It doesn't matter. It is what it is. We don't have much time. Now we really We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. Okay. Nothing through here. Damn. I was kind of hoping they dug some secret tunnels or something. This is a good deal. Nothing in there. That could be useful. Looks like a carjack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. Yeah. Just some surgical supplies. Never just surgical supplies. Any of that could have been useful. Okay, so what's up here? Lift. Okay, so let's use the rib spreader. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. One, two, you lied. Oh, can you imagine that being used on somebody's ribs? Uh oh. about trying to save him at the very least buy him some time do we have to cut it off though do we know it works we don't know anything is there gonna be a lot of blood there's gonna be a shitload of blood what if he dies then the rest of us go after clementine and get the hell out of savannah do it let's never do it. helps maybe it'll work it's a big risk yeah we're down here without a lot of options. I 
I think we should do it. We'll be smart about it, and any chance is better than none. Okay? To hell with it. I'm not I'm letting you die. Else, Come on. Let's get it done. Um, exclamation point permit space and the name. It'll be over before you know it. Just gotta get through. It was easier when I thought he was out. Oh, Jesus. Fine. I'll go as fast as I can. <laughs> There's a um, underscore after his name, and Fast would be good. Look. You can... ah! Ooh, that's gonna ah! Try to stay still. Ah! Ah! Oh, fuck! Oh, God! I know! Pray that it actually, you know, did Holy anything. Hell, we thought maybe we lost you. You've been out a while, man. You did, Anne. Yeah, well done. Oh, what the hell did we do? Oh, uh, Jesus, this hurts so goddamn bad. I hope it helps. Do you think you'll be able to travel? <laughs> you lost some blood. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed on anyone. Jeez. Oh, We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. You think it's possible for you? Yeah. Keep going. Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. Did they follow us here? It sure seems <laughs> like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. 
Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Well, what do we do now? I, uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. He lost a lot of blood down there. If you find yourself getting winded, or worse, you gotta let us know. Screw that. I look like I need any preferential treatment. Well... You could have taken my damn leg down there. Wouldn't have slowed me down a bit. You hear me? Yeah, we do. Now what? We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Now, let's get our bearings. Okay, let's have a look around. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Huh, yeah. That could help. <laughs> That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. I might have a way to clear us a path. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. Hmm? Uh, no, Barry, asking for mod pretty much gives you minus figures. Some poor bastard took a spill. Yeah, looks like whoever was up here painting that sign went ass over tea kettle. <laughs> Whoa, you need some help with that? I got it. Okay, am I meant to be doing something with it? Mm, no. <coughs> Obviously, I haven't found what I need to do with that. Give me a moment. Do, 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 do. Okay, Nero.
Alright, uh, what's this? He or she walked away from whatever accident happened. Well, that doesn't really mean much. Okay. I'm guessing I need to do something with the ladder, but I don't know what to do with it yet. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears her life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. How did I even appear on there? That looks like Crawford Square over there. Hmm, okay, am I meant to be... clicking on things? Let's just check. Fire escape? Here's a way down. Yeah, if half the dead population in Georgia wouldn't wander in the streets down there. Okay, I think I need to click on other things that I didn't click on before. N nothing else over here. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, see, I didn't do that. With the bell tower on this side of the hospital. And the mansion over there. Uh, that might be our way off this rooftop. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. <laughs> no way I'm jumping that. Okay. Right. What's that? Jump to bell tower? No, no. Let's let's use common sense. There's a ladder that we can use as a bridge. See, there we go, that's better. Damn it. <laughs> no worries, that's all, right. it's all fine. Oh, shit. The bells. Yeah, could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. I'll do it. Yeah, Ben will do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Okay, just be careful. You know, somebody could hold that Why end the of the ladder. Letting the one-armed guy do all the high-risk maneuvers. Because the one-armed guy insists. Now shut up about it. That thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Okay, so...
so no, I'm not a shark. Holy shit, man! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No shit. Try to find another way out of there. Well, there's another way, but I'm not thinking it's going to be a good way. No, it's locked. Shit. The exit in here's locked. Anything else I can look at? Can I walk off the edge? Ah, oh, that would have been funny. If you always do a running jump and try and leap across, that would be interesting. A few solid rings of this and there'll be thousands down below. Coming this way. Tons of them. Jesus. Now get back here. Get on your little jump. And you've got the. I think I have to jump. There's no way back. You can make it. You've got the height far. advantage. You got this. Got this, motherfucker. Yeah. <sighs> Whoa, no, I didn't. Oh, did I? I did not. Okay. Good goddamn leap, pal. Dario, hello. Let's get the hell off this roof. I love the way they also leave the one-armed guy to pull himself up. They all just stand there and let him. Holy... What the fuck? Come on, just come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. Who? Fuck. How could this happen? It's a guy on the radio, the one that's got Clem. They're gone. Holy shit, they're gone. Relax. Hey guys. No, it wasn't the guy on the radio. It was Vernon. No fucking way! The invalids? Their actions uh, contradict your characterization. But, yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their make-a-wish was a fucking boat ride! When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out! We would have done the same. Not like this! We wouldn't leave good people to rot! We've taken food! We've killed to survive. What's the difference? It's different! He says he feels bad about it. Leaving us and Clementine behind. They fucked us! Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Yeah, chill out, Kenny. We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. 
What do we do without a boat? Get to the countryside. Dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill. Not just you. Chill. Lee's bitten and God knows how long he has left. Clementine is who the fuck knows, and we're robbed of the only hope we've had. So? So Lee should have left your ass in Crawford. We got enough problems. Fuck you, Kenny! Careful, guys! No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katja and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead! No! You know how they died. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. You get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse, and I don't know. So give me a fucking break. Oh, shit. Shouting come. in the house. Shouting is what you're doing. You're attracting the zombies. Shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista, get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kenny, look for weapons. Gather anything you can find. We'll do. Finn. Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. Got it. Omi! What is it? Front doors! Back door. Lee! Help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! <laughs> That'll do. That'll do. Take their goddamn arms off! <laughs> oh, there's fingers. Now what? Shh. Everybody. We have to hide, and then find a way out. Lee's right. This place is secure. We're patient, and then we get going. Uh, oh, maybe not. Fuck! New plan! Get upstairs! Go! Run away! Guys, help me with this!
at least they physically can't get up there. Here, um, I'm not good with these. You dropped it down there. But it's empty. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay, let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the Third. Industrial... <laughs> Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. Yeah, a bit of both works. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's got to be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. <coughs> hey, you're not looking great, and you're warm. I'm okay. Don't. What did that mean? She's at the hotel, where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. Okay, so we know where she is We need then. to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Like I said, everyone needs to keep looking for a way out, damn it. We're trapped in here. Do you think that worked? I, I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look, we could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not gonna do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't gonna happen. How do you know that? Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house, and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you, because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. Then kill me, you son of a bitch, okay? Don't even fucking hesitate. I will. That dude's face. <laughs> Shut up, Look. It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30 foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. That's right. Just let the one odd man. This wall man ain't shit. Do it. Is this really possible? Oh, there we go. Somebody else is actually going to pick it up. Finally. Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I wasn't going to hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. Glad you told us when you got bitten. It should have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I am. And when it happened? 
I panicked. But now I feel it inside me. Like the day before you get the flu. It's horrible. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We just get Clementine, that's the focus. Despite how I feel, I, I can't let vengeance be the thing. Sure, but if it's not that easy... We'll do whatever it takes. And, you know, whatever happens to you... Seriously, can we not Try talk like boy that? Two, three, one. Thank you very much for the follow. The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off. What good is it to plan around that working? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. Find her family, okay? Somewhere she'll be safe. Don't do this. I want you to hear me. I hear you. But I'm not having this conversation. Krista, we could look after her. As long as she has a family. You hear me? Yeah. Of course. What about him? What do you two think? He's a risk to the group, but I feel bad for him. But do you call him followers? I feel bad for him too. He's not Vipies. He loses shit like that often? Uh, no. That was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. Wow, Barry. Just, yeah, I'm... Wow. Well, seems like it got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Uh, that, uh, feeling any better? Still feels pretty recently chopped. So no, Kenny feels about as, uh, good as you'd expect. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it, did it help at all? I, I believe you did, Elsewhere, uh, yes. So, take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. We don't need to get emotional. I'm just asking him how he is. Lee's right. Your boyfriend's making decent progress. Need to be ready to move. I agree. I just wanted to say, you've all lost a lot. We're still here, though. Maybe take it easy on him from here on out. I'm angry as hell. Not at him. Maybe. Maybe not. You heard him outside. I did. I never really thought about it that way. Oh, nice one, Minnie. <laughs> this guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. And I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. After everything, you still a bastard, you know, kid? Been hearing that my whole life, Doc. <laughs> well, cheers.
Penny's just dropped for Kenny. I'm through. No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. I used to do roleplay games. Well. seen go. They got to do it their own way. Together. Don't you say that. You stick it out as long as you can. You do whatever you have to. I could have done more. You did everything you could. No, Lee. I could have been a better husband. Better father. Could have been a better friend. <laughs> so let's figure out a way out of here. Get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. No, don't really want to look at them. Thank you. No. The streets are full. Hundreds of them. But I'm not going out this window. Okay. House is full too. Stay quiet. Okay. Judging by the decor of this room, I guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. Just saying. <laughs> Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. You still with us, Bib? Yeah, Lee. I just want to help. What do you call this thing? Art? <laughs> it's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. Might be the way out. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead. That's right. <clears throat> Send the one-armed guy first. And there's nobody to help him. Okay. I didn't know any girls geeky enough to be doing that kind of thing when I was at school, unfortunately. Fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? Kenny's actually gonna go and help. Kenny and I can handle this. Dude, let me help you. You're already hurt. Even more reason we all don't need to risk it. You worry about her. 
And if all this goes bad, you might be Clementine's last hope. We'll keep an eye out. Ow! Oh. I'm okay! I'm okay! Just get me out of here! Shh! Quiet, Ben! Or they'll be on top of us! Yeah, try to keep your mouth shut. I'm sorry. Just get me up. My legs hurt, I think. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? I thought you... Oh, that's not gonna be good. Oh, crap. Fucking hell. What is it? I'm okay. I'm okay. We can get you up. We can, uh... Ow! Oh, oh. I'm sorry, but that's just a bad option. He's quiet. We could take our time and save his life. I can be super quiet. Too late. Oh. Fuck! They're already coming, you might as well just... Oh god, don't let them get to me! Do you have any bullets left? This has only got one left in it. I'm out! Shit! Get the fuck out of here. What? Go back! She needs you, Lee. Kenny! This is not a discussion! Hell no, man! I'm not leaving! What did I just say? Let's get Ben and get out of here! Oh, it's like we didn't get much of a choice. Kenny? Lee, Lee, it's okay. No, kid. No, it's not! It's just something I gotta do. You know that. Go get that girl. Back, you sons of bitches! Damn it, Kenny! God damn it! Kenny! Um, season two. I will be doing season two. I do have season two. Uh, I'll be probably playing that in a week, couple of weeks' time. What happened? Ben was really messed up. Kenny couldn't leave him, and it was just fucked. God damn! God! I heard a shot. He was fighting them all. Trying to, at least. It... You saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. He did what he had to, all the way to the end. We should go. Right behind you. Do you want to 
to talk? Kitty was my friend. Soon as someone dies, they don't immediately have to have their sins forgiven. He was what passes for a friend now. I understand. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. Yeah, you do. Let me take all the risks. That's not what I mean, necessarily. It's what I mean. It's what we gotta do. Fuck. Be careful across here. So, you want him to take all the risks, and yet you walked out on it first. Okay. Not really thinking this through, are you? I've seen that only walk so badly on wooden planks. Stepped on every one of the gaps. And all the biggest gaps as well. River Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. You never know where the next meal is. No, they don't. I... I didn't mean... It's fine. Let's go. Oh, please don't tell me we're going to go across that sign. Marshall's hotel is around the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Yes, it does. Who's going first? <laughs> you're the artist. I, was there, I swear, you're trying to make my part to pick you up on anything and everything. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. <sighs> Just go nice and slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. I'd... I'd probably shoot you for your own sake. Be unhappy about what are you it, gonna though. do? Just need to throw that in there. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Let's meet outside of town. By the train. Are you nuts? It's the only way. Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train. Jesus, we'll be there. <laughs> I've been killing my followers from the start, Anne. Tempted on the next Don't Starve to turn PvP on, but I think that would just turn into a bloodbath. Oh, he's on a me. 
animation. I'm not surprised he looks tired. How do you know which room to go to? Oh, there's somebody in there. See if there's anything else I can look at. Okay. I got us adjoining rooms. Hello. Okay. This is Sybil. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Yeah, these are all true Go things. Over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Let's talk like reasonable adults. Come on. Do you know who I am? No, not a fucking clue. No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Um. I'm not some cannibal, V. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. Do for the you... taking? Do you know what you took from me? I'm sorry. Whatever it is, whatever happened, you have to hear that I'm sorry. That doesn't mean anything to me. I wish it did. I'm not a bad man. I don't believe in vengeance. But I've got You're right, many it did. did. <sighs> Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? 
Yes, of course. Who? My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I heard her a long time ago. How? It doesn't matter. If you say so. I hurt her so bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, you are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? No, but yeah. We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. Correct, I did. I did what I had to. You let a boy get yanked out of a window and into the night so you could protect a pretty girl with a gun. You weren't there. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. was starving. It was cold. So my family starved in the cold! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer. Thief, and I'm gonna hurt you so bad. I'm sorry. I hear that. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Our plan? Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. No. Shut up. It makes sense. It's not happening. Let us go. No. No, I don't think so. You're going away, and we're starting a new family. Hey, honey. I think this is all good. Oh, uh, you? This is now very, very. I'm glad to. <sighs> I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but that's it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Uh, just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. That's. His. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. 
She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Close. Shot Clementine. That's his wife's head in the bag, isn't it? Catch you later, Holy Duck. I, I, it's okay. It's okay. I, I, your arm's gone. Why? So scary. I had an accident. We'll talk about it somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clem, it's okay. I need to get you somewhere safe. Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Hey. You weren't afraid. I was. You didn't act like it. I know. I am now. It's okay. <laughs> Which way out? Through there. Do let's look in the bag. Yeah, it's what I thought. Oh my god, it's still alive. Hold on. Yeah, let's get the hell out of there. I don't even want to watch what's going on right now. I 
so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. No, Anne, but I can. So mum. Would you do that? Because I was bit clear. Please, no, no. That's not true. Yes, it is. There's no time to be upset. Okay, I'll try not to be. You're failing. Looks like it's gonna be fun. Good, good girl. Let's go. Uh, I might be a little slow. I'll help you. I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here.
I should have told you. It was scary at the hotel. Yeah. Keep going. We're almost there. Get up, Lee. The door is right here. Oh, I could have done that. You have to. Liam, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please, try to get up. Oh, again. Baseball bat under the counter, Clint. You can use that. Use the bat to shut that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. There's many who's. I'm not sure around your age, I think. safe with the zombie that we've got to go in here to get the keys. I'm not sure how safe she really is. I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe. We have to deal with him now. Oh, nice one, Minnie. Ending his journey the same way he started, in cuffs. Is, 
Oh, okay, he wasn't. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Watch out! Oh, ow. The bat clip! Get the bat! Uh, I need to get the. Kick it. <coughs> Nice shot! And again! Keep doing it, keep doing it! Gross! I did it! I got him! You can take care of yourself, see? No! Not all the time. Here you can. Don't worry. Hey. Oh, my turn. your eyes and be thankful you never have to see me as one of them. You can do it. I know you can. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I, I can. Find Tomid and Krista. They're outside of town by the train. You remember how to get back there? Yes. Wow.
Um, okay, so um, most people removed his arm. Most people lost their temper with Kenny. Okay, I can't remember that, but okay. Uh, yeah, I surrendered my weapons. It seems a safer position to go for. Killed Clementine's captor. I didn't know that I had the option to kill him. Did I screw that up? Okay. Um, and stop Lee from turning. Yeah, I think it's better for Clem. She didn't see him as a zombie. But. Oh. Is that Omid and Krista? Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like, subscribe or share. Thank you very much and I'll see you soon.